Special thanks to Fluminous for sending me the alpha build demo of this game. Make sure to check out more details about them and the game using the links in the description at the end of the video. If you've been hoping for another quality 3D collectathon platformer to fall into your laps, I'm here to slam dunk some good news into your unsuspecting lap and get hot coffee all over you. Miscellaneous, a tiny tale, also known as Misc, is a 3D platforming collectathon in the vein of games like Super Mario 64, Hat in Time, etc., all shown through the perspective of cute little robots in a world that might seem familiar and possibly mundane to you and I, but epic and magical to a creature only one inch tall. I was graciously gifted access to the current alpha build demo by the game's developer, Fluminous, who seemed to have made some other decent looking games in the past, but I've never heard of any of them, so let's just focus on miscellaneous for now. As the demo started up, I was given some context that I should look for golden cogs and floating nuts all around the level before I go after my pal Bagboy to start an epic adventure. We play as Buddy, this cute little clanky fellow who has maybe the silliest and most adorable run cycle I think I've ever seen. Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my raccoon girl. After getting used to the general movement and adapting to the camera, which is pulled in just a little too close for my liking, the game feels lovely to play. The jumping does feel very floaty, but it feels like it was built this way on purpose, as you jump quite high, float slowly after jumping, and you can double jump on top of that. The environments are well suited to this movement and are loaded with lots of high vantage spots to look the level over, tons of quality vertical platforming, and the floatiness means that you can correct yourself in mid-air a bit if you need to, though you do still need to be pretty sure of your decisions when you commit to make a jump. Then, about halfway through the level, when you move on from the wide open tutorial area to a more challenging and linear platforming section, I felt that I was fully prepared after having spent the necessary amount of time learning the controls at my own pace. So yeah. The controls are pretty good, but what do you use these controls for? Collecting golden cogs mainly, which are the power stars or jiggies of this game, i.e. your main collectible upon which your quest is based. They're scattered all throughout the level, hidden high and low behind platforming challenges, fetch quests, exchanged for reasonable prices at your local grocer, and so on. There's plenty of variety in how you acquire the cogs, and I spent about 45 minutes finding all of them at my own pace, and I was having a really good time. I especially liked all the different characters you can interact with, from Buddy's sassy girlfriend, to this funny round raccoon guy, to this guy running around. Oh wow, he's a red soda can, and his name is Coca. I hope they don't get sued for that. I also have to say that for a game made by like three people that's still an alpha, graphically it looks quite good. The game runs on Unreal Engine 4 and so it actually looks pretty solid. But with some more polish and detailed animations added over time, it could seriously look amazing. The sunny landscape loaded with greenery and shiny metal reflecting off of the sunlight is quite pleasant to look at, and the darker environments have a very unique atmosphere to them. Supposedly one of this game's major influences was Pikmin, and I feel it hard. The tiny creature being in a big epic world of trash and gardens is absolutely classic Pikmin. Speaking of influences, some of you might be looking at this game and be reminded of Chibi Robo. It was the first thing I thought about when I saw the game. I mean, they are both platformers about tiny robots. But that's really all they have in common, as they don't play anything like each other. Miscellaneous is more of a traditional 3D platformer, while Chibi Robo was much slower and methodical in gameplay, more akin to something like a classic cinematic platformer or something of the like. That being said, the developers have heard the Chibi Robo comparisons and are supposedly thinking of taking more inspiration from it as well as other titles people have compared the game to, such as Wallace and Gromit in Project Zoo. Huh. Honestly, that kind of sounds like a mixed bag in terms of influences. I mean, on the one hand, Pikmin and Chibi Robo. Huh. And then the other hand, Project Zoo. Eh? While we're on the subject of eh? This is a really solid demo, but I do have some minor issues with the current build. I already mentioned that the camera feels a bit close, so there's that. The game has controller support already, which is nice, as well as solid keyboard controls as far as 3D platformers go, but whenever I was in a conversation with somebody, I was suddenly forced to use the PC controls instead of the controller, which is a little weird. I also wish that you could use the pin item while moving. I feel like it would improve flow if you didn't have to stop completely to use it. But how much can I really complain when this game has this dog in it? and mushrooms that you can do backflips off of. Anyway, while I do have my complaints, in all seriousness, so far, Miscellaneous A Tiny Tale seems like it's going to be pretty solid. It's 
the final product keeps up with the quality of this demo and improves on it. What I played in the demo was just one chapter, and supposedly the final game is planned for release this year with a grand total of 10 chapters, which sounds like a pretty reasonable amount of content if priced right. Special thanks again to Fluminous again for letting me collaborate with them on this. I really enjoyed my time with the demo, and now I'm looking forward to the whole game coming out. If you're interested in trying the demo for yourself, you can get access to it by supporting Fluminous on their Patreon page, and you can currently wishlist the game on Steam as well. I'll leave some links in the description for you to follow if you want to check the game out. In the meantime, while I'm waiting for Miscellaneous to actually come out, I guess that I could play not Project Zoo, and could instead play the Walls and Gromit DVD game, because if you haven't played this, you aren't a true fan! Hey guys, thanks for sticking out to the end of the video. I really appreciate it. If you like it, I've got tons of different videos on my channel. Full episodes and reviews of games, stuff like that if you want to check it out. If you want to keep up to date on other products I might be working on and videos I might be making, then feel free to follow me on Twitter at PurpockPartyBus. I also have a Patreon if you're into that sort of thing. I'll leave a link to it down in the description. Thanks so much again, guys. I will see you all next time, which is hopefully soon. Have a good night. Take care.